So there are experiments on the table. Some have been carried out, but more precise ones may be done where you study Newton's law of gravity. Why is Newton's law go like one over R squared? Why do we teach That's our kids geometric. GMM over R squared? It's a geometric. Geometric sphere in three dimensions yes. of space. Yes. Look at that sphere in four or five or six dimensions, and the two in Newton's law won't be a two. No. It'll be so a bigger number. The fall off will be differently. Right. And so look at the gravitational force on very small distances. Look for a deviation from the one over R squared that Isaac Newton told us about in the late 1600s. Okay, because that's only in our dimensional measurement of it. Yes. Okay, because I'd asked you again over that same lunch. Yeah. Uh, why do we have lunch? I forgot. We were just we catching were up. No, 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 no. <laughs> we were hungry. No, we were just catching up. Uh, you know, it's my annual fix, <laughs> my annual Brian Green infusion. It was, could dark matter be ordinary matter with ordinary gravity in a parallel universe because for reasons I don't understand the math of, the, the field theory equations of, you were telling me that electromagnetic energy cannot escape our space time, but gravity can. In a certain model called the brain universe, where -A -A -E. our universe, <clears throat> B-R-A-N-E, it comes out as of a strange-